I will now demonstrate how to create a field level expression in a data synchronization task. All right, to de demonstrate how to use an expression in a task, I'm going to open one of the tasks I created previously. And where you would create the expression would be under the field mapping step on the target side. And under the actions column, the first icon is will open the expression window. So you can click on that for any field. Uh, you can also click on any field that's been mapped. And you can click on any field that's been mapped and where an expression has already been created as well. So here for the account phone number, uh, the simple expression of concatenating area code and phone number has already been created for me when I dragged and dropped both of those fields over my target field. And if I look at the data that's been loaded into Salesforce, I can see that those phone numbers uploaded without any formatting really, so the area code and the phone number, but let's say I want to add parentheses around the area code. So I can open that field expression window in my task and what you get here on the left hand side in the upper section will be all of your source fields. So if you click on one of those it will bring the, the field into your expression and then over to the left on the bottom are all of the available functions and they are also separated by category as well and one that, just to point out that I mentioned in the slides under special is the decode function and if you click that it's going to add the syntax to your expression and it will also give you a full uh, description and syntax down below. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to use double bar for concatenate, and I'm going to add parentheses around the area code. So that will concatenate. And then I also may want to add a space here as well. Okay, and now the last thing that you want to do here is uh, click validate to validate your expression and it came back as valid so I'll go ahead and click OK and then save and run my task. And I'll come back over here to Salesforce and refresh my list and I can see that the formatting has been added.